Just a quick video before I put the ugly winter wheels on. 2020 Model Y performance. Silent but deadly, kind of corny, I know. Gonna replace those with P75D. That's corny too, getting rid of it. No badges. I don't have the hole behind it like most people do, so I can put anything. This is the only seam in the wrap. It's the only seam I can see. The only off spot I can see on everything. Spoilers wrap too. Everything's done in Expel. All the tint is done in Expel. Um, it's the most expensive one. I think it was like 1500 bucks to tint this. A lot of glass too. Tail lights were done by a body shop. They're done in black gloss. So that should last forever. I don't have to worry about it. Everything is ceramic coated on top. Got the 19 inch Gemini's going on. Everything is wrapped. Here again, stick around below in case I want to change it. Nothing crazy. Let's check out the inside. It's filthy, I know. Daily driver. Can't see it from here. I got the floor lighting done. Abstract Ocean. I bought a lot of stuff from Abstract Ocean and RPM Tesla. I'm pretty happy with everybody. This is all wrapped because that black plastic stuff scratches so easy. I probably should just done it in like a gray just to match. But I went with the carbon to see. It looked okay. Same thing with the ugly ass. Wood green. Now it's carbon. Not bad. Seven century events. Yeah. Neighbors have ring doorbell. Supposedly the IR from that triggers that. Um, what else? This is all wrapped in carbon as well. It is fall here, so that's why I see all the leaf crumbles. It's all done too. Oh, here's the coolest part. No one's got one of these. It's a billet block of aluminum with a swivel joint with nylon. Tilt the screen wherever I want. Really find this great because I drive by myself a lot. So I like to have the screen towards me. Got the matte screen protector for only for screen prints and glare. Don't really care about protecting the screen. This cell phone charger is definitely the best because the stock Tesla one, when you, now if you're using an iPhone, iOS 14, it won't charge. It charges for like maybe one minute and stops. You know, I like this so much, I don't use it no more. I use this, which is cool about this is, uh, uses that little sensor there. It's motorized to close it. And it closes automatically when it detects your phone and such. So I like that. It has a pocket in the back too for like your sunglasses. Pretty neat. No, I'm not sure you can see, but I also wrapped the back of the MCU in carbon fiber. Not sure you can see it or not. But that's all done. All one piece glass. That was really hard to tint. What else do we got? Oh. Wrap the sills, but they shouldn't have used this stealth for wrapping the sills. They should have used the clear like they did on the headlights and taillights. That would have been a uh, bit better. Got the RPM. Massage your seats. I really like that. It's plug and play, plus into the diagnostic. Oh, now it's starting to rain. Try to think what else I got on this bad boy. I got the tow hitch, of course. Never used it. Don't even know if it's even there. But I better find out. I figure I'll take my last little video of this thing before I put these ugly ass wheels on which I'll update soon but she looks pretty good see you all later